Chapter 6 PCB Design for Signal Integrity Complete PCD, PCB Design Using ORCAD Capture and Layout Desirable Electrical Characteristic Circuits as a PCB include low noise, low distortion, low crosstalk, low radiated emissions, to name a few. The purpose of the chapter is to introduce issues that cause PCB performance problems, how to route a PCB to minimize them and to maximize signal integrity. Your circuit design issues not related to the PCB layout. Um, circuit design constraints are, pri are primarily the responsibility of the circuit designer engineer will not be covered in detail here. But some issues will be mentioned briefly since the symptoms are poor. Circuit design can be confused with PCB design problems. Noise. Noise generally refers to any signal that interferes with the degrees of signal interest of it is often usually the objective for a problem such as uh, phase noise, switching noise, crosstalk noise, reflection noise. In the text, um, we will limit the two term noise to random, mean random, pseudo random, natural signals, which are generally not a result of the PCB design. Functioning problems such as crosstalk ringing, which are PCB related problems, will be named as such. From perspective, there are two basic categories of noise background noise and tristic component noise. These noises are generally addressed by the circuit designer, and not the PCB designer, but are discussed here briefly for completeness. Background noise. Background noise is uncontrolled signal or originates from the system of their environment and your board is working on. For example, if your circuit is an auto amplifier that is supposed to amplify a speaker's voice as he or she speaks into a microphone but a crowd of people is talking around the speaker or a jet plane files overhead, both the speaker and the voice and the background sounds will be amplified. The signal will be considered noisy and said to suffer from a low signal to noise ratio. There's nothing you can do about it from PCB design perspective. Sensories may also be noisy because they are sensitivity, but that is also a circuit design issue need to be handled long before the PCB is laid out. Intrinsic noise. There are four types of intrinsic noise. There are thermal noise, shot noise, contact noise, and popcorn noise. Thermal noise is due to motion of electrons in a conducting material and is present in any material that exhibits the resistance to current flow and its function temperature. It is white noise, it's constant over frequencies and prominent in the resistor semiconductor and devices. Shot noise is also white noise due to the potential barriers, also prevalent in semiconductor devices. Contact noise, also called excess noise in resistors, one over the F noise, uh, or should we say um, frequency, is due to imperfect connections of the contact joints and interfaces. It's not constant over frequent, it's not a constant over frequency and can be fairly large at low, uh, low frequencies. Your best defense against this type of noise is good quality connections, good side joints. Popcorn noise, also called burst noise, the typical proportion of one of the frequencies squared is worse than the high impedance circuits. It's called with the manufacturer defects, semiconductors, integrated circuit boards, distortion. Distortion is an issue more related to analog circuitry because of the nature of the continuous signal with the analog circuitry all voltage between the um, power supply rails may be significant, may be of significance. This usual signals are not continuous here. They are either or high or low, usually nothing in between this matters. As long as the voltage level meets the threshold specification, there's no ambiguity, but there's no quality issues. Ringing on the rising and the falling edge of the square wave might be considered distortion, but in handled differently, it is described below the distortion over the sudden sigil signal, which normally has a single peak over the frequency spectrum, begins to occur and amplify the sin waves, either clip, either are clipped or experiencing a phase reversal. Op no amps have amplitudes listed imposed with the power supply with the drive capability of the frequency response. If the amplitude of the synthesizer output signal is determined by the input signal times of the gain exceeding the output capability of the op amp, then the output signal will be clipped off and begin to resemble a square wave. Square waves are composed of many sound waves which are permanently odd harmonics of fundamental frequencies over the square wave of the dominant, the dominant harmonic is typically the third one so one signal wave begins to clip one set of third harmonic distortions observed if the input signal exceeds the up amp, amp input limits is um, imposed with the power supply rail the output signal will also be destroyed some of the amplifiers simply clip the signal cause the third harmonic distortion while other amps experience phase inversion which also causes harmonic distortion 
These problems are caused by the circuit design, competent selection, and are not fault with the PCB design effect with the mention because if you do not use them or do not know about them, they can be confused with the PCB layout problems along with harmonic distortion ringing will produce unwanted frequency components which can be seen with a spectrum analyzer may be confused with the other forms of distortion and noise. Ringing is caused by reflections which, turn in the, in when, which in turn is caused by impedance matches of the um, PCB traces as a function of the PCB design. Frequency response. Both analog and digital circuits have frequency limit. The digital circuit is frequency limited. Exceed the signal and level that may rise and fall great. Fall before a gated chance of switch state. This may give the appearance of the signal is intended or that receiving the gate is not seeing the signal of the two circuit design problems with not PCB problems. The circuit design we made to make sure the components selected are within design constraints, but the signal exists, exceeds frequency limit of the analog circuitry with the output signal will also be actuated and distortion will resolve the same way it begins to look over the triangle at the output of the frequency limited component. This function of the amplifier flu rate is the negative three decibels BW bandwidth gain bandwidth product. Again, this issue needed to be handled with the circuitry design level that will be before the PCB design stage. Issues related to PCB layout. Electromagnetic interference and cross check. There are three goals of the PCB the electronic performance signal integrity. One, the PCB should be immune to interference from other systems. Two, it should not produce emissions that cause problems for the other systems. Three, it should demonstrate the desired signal quality. A common factor relating these three issue electromagnetic waves shown in figure 6 1 show the noise introduced with the, into the PCB with the outside source. It can produce noise that radiates to other um, systems itself. 6 1 shows the enemy electromagnetic interference. So you have your uh, other systems emissions and the interferencing your system with the power supply instrument sensors and sending noise to the PCB. And closing the package of the PCB. When electromagnetic waves get into your system, it is referred to electromagnetic interference or EMI. On the flip side, the PCB can source for the electromagnetic interference called the problem of the other system. Building for the system playing nice together that is referred to electromagnetic capability. The FCC has established rule with many system types of systems regarding Electromagnetic interference and electromagnetic capability, when depending on application, PCB may have the abide proper layout of the PC get induced in electromagnetic interference and improve the electromagnetic capability. In this section, we took a look at the electromagnetic interference and effects. There are many good books available on these addresses of the issue. Great detail. The material in the chapter is not intended to duplicate these works, but to provide an overview of the issue, provide insight on how to design the PCB layout with regard to signal integrity. The method in which system circuits can reach out and touch another circuit is inductive capacitative coupling electromagnetic fielding. In 1820, Farad and Henry showed that the electromagnetic current could be produced in a, con a conductor changing the current in another nearby conductor. Um, that was survey page 806. The years later, Maxwell showed that changing electrical fields as produced the magnetic fields. These fields are sources of many woes of the PCB design, we begin to look at the magnetic fields and inductive coupling. Magnetic fields and inductive coupling. As shown in figure 16 with the magnetic field um, vector B is developed around the conductor. Current flows through the conductor into XN out of the dot N end of the conductor of the right hand law for Ampere's law. As you determine the direction of the field with the thumb on the right hand left point to the end of the conventional flow of the arrow movement over the pile of the charge of magnetic field current. Curl's direction of the finger is defined with the mathematically cross product of the bio servar law. By applying some calculus, we will now show be shown here an equation derived of the scalar non-vector magnitude B magnetic field vector B near the conductor. Our six two show the magnetic B um, magnetic field with the current carrying current flow conductor X N dot N magnetic field. The magnetic magnetic field is resistant of the long of the long straight conductor survey page eighty three given the equation of one, where B is the magnitude of field with the W B the, the meter squared is per, um, permeability free space uh, I is the current in amps and R is the distance from the conductor. Total magnetic field and with and through an, uh, is also called magnetic flux, which has the units of the W B described in equation two. 
We're B in the magnetic field. Um, magnitude per unit. A is the area intersected by the magnetic field. O is the angle between B and A. Magnetic field flux expands with the contraction uh, in proportion changing with the current flow. As the flux expands with the contraction around the conductor, we say Farad's law of the induction given the name of the equation 3. The voltage is induced into the conductor. This is known as self-induced electromagnetic force, EMF. Minus sign equation 3 resolve of the lens law would state that the EM electromagnetic force induced into the conductor produced the current with the conductor creates magnetic flux will impose the changing magnetic flux. This effect is called self-inductance. Self-inductance tends to limit how, how fast the current can change in a conductor. This is what makes an inductor have the an 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 inductance across opposed AC currents and analog circuits. In fast rise of times of the digital circuit's magnitude inductance L is shown in figure 4. The inductance is directly proportional to N, the number of turns of the coil, and the magnet flux is inversely proportional to the current I. If the secondary conductor is primarily conductor, which is carrying, carrying current is shown in figure 63, some of the flux will be felt. Secondary conductor, if the current through the primary conductor changes with respect of the time, as the case in the rising edge of the digital L signal and the AC signal, the magnetic field, therefore, magnetic flux also changes the respect of the time, increase the strength, and expand outage. Um, for decrease the strength and contract inward from and toward the primary conductor, the flux in in pinging secondary conductor changes with the respect of the time. All expand with the contract. We say we see again for error at the law of the induction in equation three that the voltage E.G. is induced in the secondary conductor. Use the right hand rule of electrical generation direction decreasing. This is currently to be determined the right hand rule point thumb in the direction of motion conductor relative to the expanding shrinking flux VC. Point of the finger um, in the direction of B field of the middle finger with the direction force to positive the charges. Therefore, with the positive current flow, the resultant voltage current is shown in figure 6.3. Notice that current secondary conductor flow with the direction opposite of that of the current primary conductor result of the inductive voltage produces secondary magnetic field, which is supposed to partially cancel the primary magnetic field by Lenz law. So you have field expansion velocity, um, your voltage, your B, your voltage C plus, voltage expansion velocity, velocity relate, and uh, 6.3 shows voltage induced with adjacent trace and the varying magnetic fields. If induced current flows with the secondary ch conductor change with the respect of the time, which is um, because of the primary conductor is causing it to the close proximity of the first conductor, which is the secondary conductor induced with the EMF back into the primary conductor. Magnetic flux goes back and forth between the two conductors called mutual inductancy. The electromagnetic force generated by the primary conductor by the secondary conductor will be in the direction aids original current flow with the primary conductor. Secondary conductor flux try with the opposed primary flux. The original flux is partially canceled with the level inductance is partially canceled with the change of the current and primary conductor is not limited to see le it sees less inductancy. It would seem that unlimited current could um, file with the primary inductor since the secondary conductor aids secondary inductor experiences over the self inductance is therefore limited to also amount of the mutual inductance between the two conductors is limited to how much further flux complies coupled to the two conductors similarly with the coupling with the coefficient transform in both circumstances never to 100%. When we trace PCB and do the voltage into the adjacent signal trace, we call it the crosstalk, which was based mad because it generates an over the adjacent signal trace. But if the second conductor of the PCB ground plane is good because of the reduce of the trace inductancy, therefore the overlap loop inductancy of the circuit, therefore time will begin begin with stick with we'll using term return plane rather than ground plane for reasons described later. Loop inductancy, figure 6-3, um, only segment of the trace is shown over the course of the current flow through the circuit closed path exists, is shown in 6-4. Any conductor and circuit carrier of the current will produce magnetic field inductating circular arrows. There we show loop inductance coil closed circuit. Our an equation, uh, inductance is given in equation 5. Uh, where n is the number of turns, a l uh, uh, l is the volume of the circuit it occupies u underscore o subscript o relative to the permeability of the material which circuit exists for most people. U for the PCB underscript is zero um, is equal to one 
Um, some of the conduction of the function of the volume of the indicator and the conductor are the number of the terms of the conductor around the space. Therefore, induction is dependent on the circuit of the geometry, which is smaller volume will resolve the smaller circuit loop inductancy. If we look at the closed loop circuit shown in figure 64, we'll respect with the two-edge volume. We can see that the circuit is physically large, makes a large loop, but we'll have what's referred to as a high loop inductance. On the other hand, we arrange the circuit as shown in figure 6-5, and we see that the equation 5 loop inductance will be less since the last volume. If you notice the direction of the arrows of the magnetic field, you'll see that the source of the current and return current magnetic fields oppose each other thereby reducing flux and inductance. 6-5 shows the closed loop circuit with the low loop inductances. Figure 6-6 shows the resultant magnetic field of the two conductors close proximity where currents are in the same direction indicate the magnetic field circulate with the same direction aid each other in the case of the inductor which turns are wound in same direction build up overall strong magnetic field. 6-6 six, six shows aiding opposing magnetic field. On the A, you see the aiding fields and then B, opposing fields. Figure 6-6 six, six shows the resultant magnetic field when current of the two conductor of opposite of the direction of the magnetic fields oppose each other. The result of the partial flux of the cancellation amount of the figure amount of the cancellation depends on the amount of the mutual induction switch in the turn depends on the, part of the distance between the conductors. For the situation, figure 64, 65, 66, A, and 66, B are steady DC currents, but if we accept the figure 63 equation 3 with the time varying currents, then we can see that if the return trace of the circuit breaker is close proximity to the signal trace, then the inductance of the trace is reduced, and the loop and inductance of the closed loop circuit is reduced. If the loop and inductance is reduced as in an AC circuit, then equation 6, it can be seen that there will be less inductive resistance. Less voltage drop, less crosstalk, and fewer electromagnetic interference problems. To maintain small XL um, and loop, loop, uh, loop, low loop inductance, we need to have the return path as, as possible below self inductancy. Close possible signal path whenever possible, maximal couple of small, small cross sectional area. The easiest way to do this is using the plane layer of the return path. The return path has historically and most often and appropriately have been called the ground plane but being referred to often um, more often as the image plane or a return plane the PCB design and return plane has low inductance therefore low self of the inductance uh, is everywhere in the single tray for therefore allowed with the maximum coupling between single and trade of the plane any and all widths of the single trace from this discussion, then we can say that one of the most important functions of the return image plane is reduce loop and inductancy, reduce loop and inductancy, and the magnetic fields related to it, and produce provides a low imp impedance return path for power and signal lines. Reduce <coughs> reduces unwanted crosstalk to the nearby conductors. It should be also stated that the crosstalk between unrelated conductors is reduced by keeping them far apart. Electrofield and capacitive coupling. We see that the previous paragraph of the keeping the signal and power lines close to the return of the path that provides flux cancelization, reduced loop and inductance, which is beneficial for the result of the respect that happens to electrical fields under the circumstance, which of the effect of the circuit of figure 6 7 show the electrical field lines for a single charge conductor when representing a single tray with a long way away from the return pass. Figure 6, 7, B show the electrical fields between the two opposite charge conductors, which can represent. Um, figure 6, 7, A, electrical field conductors. A, a single charge conductor. B, electrical field between opposite charge conductors. Single power line closer with the return path is shown with the solitary conductor radiates electrical field lines all direction with a couple of conductors contain at least concentrate with the electrical field between them. The Amper Maxell law. Um, state with the magnetic fields of the produced wall for the conduction current of the changing electrical fields so the minimized crosstalk it would be seen the best interest to allow trace to read the electrical fields in an uncontrolled manner to be keep the signal and the power of the trace of the close of the return path the true with the both magnetic electrical fields. But what happens in a capacitation trace of the relative of the return plane then we do with this the equation parallel plane capacitor and farads and air is given in equation 7 where C is capacity and farads and um the EO is a uh, permanent free space, and A is the common area that compare all plates. Indeed, the distance between the plates is indicated with the plates become close with together. Area between the larger capacity and increase. This also holds with the capacity between the trade for the return plane. 
through all we see later with equations slightly different units of farad inch and it does make it easier to calculate capacitance in various trace lengths. Figure equate from equation eight, we can see with the capacitor C increase with the capacitor reduction reactance decreases. When we both combine equation seven and eight, shown in nine, we see with the capacity keeping tracing and power planes close to the return plane, small d um, distance between plates and capacitive reactants from trace and return plate reduce and coupling or increase. In keeping unrelated signal traces farther apart, larger the distance um, the reactants between the traces, the higher the coupling crosstalk is reduced. Both magnetic electrical fields with the wider return path the areas of the conductor are better over the coupling and the closer the signal the power of the conductor return plane, the better the coupling. Alright, ground planes and ground bounce. What is ground and what is not? A previous discussion the term return plane was used instead of the term ground plane. Using a return plane is typically in, um, physically connected with the earth and by some means. It's really nothing to do with ground. Ground signal um, has been used as schematics in academy and practice to indicate the connection with the point under which the all circuit grounds are current with the must return. Example shown in figure 6-8 that give the impression that the ground somehow omnipresent, unfat, and current sunk. Equal, equal portion, potential reference, equal potential means of the voltage and same everywhere regardless of how much current is flowing through it. This is a myth. Alright, typical dip diction of the ground. You have your uh, VCVS uh, via uh, um, two resistors that are ground 1, 2, 1K, 1K, 1 volt AC, 0 volt DC. Although the depiction of the ground shows figure 6A with the convenient use of the schematic reality of the physical real connection, moral connection, and just now with the official ground symbols per I, uh, Institute of Electrical Engineering, Engi Electrical Onyx, Electrical Engineering Standard 315, 1975, given in Table 61. Simple definition, Table 61, reprinted in Press Permission Standard Institute, Electrical Electronic Engineer Standard 315, 1975, copyright 2003. By IEE, all rights reserved. IEE disclaims um, any responsibility. So, for the top, you have an earthen ground, you have a noiseless, um, not, not noiseless ground, a safety ground, a chassis ground, and a return ground. Our liability were resulting from the placement in you for the described man with the however, the quiet with the common with the ground return, the symbol of the issue for the otherwise. Some of the ground concept has been. Around a long time, unlikely what would change over the night. Important thing it is to declare what the symbol meaning with the standard state of the symbol can give in the supplementary information of such names as schematic, schematic, specifically animate symbol of purpose and function. There are two basic ground um, power and power connection schemes, parallel and serials connect connections. As shown in figure 69, parallel ground is shown in figure 69A. A parallel ground system is called a separate ground system since current flow in each branch is supplied by and returns to the space, completing a separate path. A series con connected ground system is shown in figure 69. The series connected ground is referred to as a ground common ground system or a daisy chain system of the current flows. Two branches share a common path. All right, A, you have your parallel connected. Um, B is a series. Um, at the schematic level, the circuit figure 6 and 9 are identical mathematically circuits identified by the uh, amper T over amper I. Uh, I, I amper, total, amper T is over uh, plus amper 1, amp 1, 2, voltage resistor 1 equals voltage resistor 2. Equal voltures um, resistor S. Voltage re furthermore indicate that you can, you can can you can connect resistor one common return path and either point one or point two without changing the meaning of the circuit of the description in any way. However, the PCB with the two circle figure six nine is significantly different than many of the significant difference between one and two found in figure six nine B. It was said earlier that any conductor current carry for the, um, carries current will produce the magnetic field even if there's tight coupling. Between single conductor and return conductor, some of the inductance will also exist between the coupling not 100% complete. That is, there is less than perfect mutual inductance from the primary trace to the secondary trace, the return plane from the secondary trace back to the primary trace. With the understanding, we can see with the figure 6 down of the unseen characteristic of the PCB result along with the IT equals I1 plus I2 instead is true. It should be realized that VR1 is equal to VR2 equal to VS, no longer true because of their voltage drops and share with the individual impedance between the source of each of the loads 
for the points one and two and other points along with the return path not an equal point. The idea with an equal potential ground plane does not exist in the practice. And now you see the figure one six ten actual circuit hidden schematic. Common impediments, particularly troubleshoot um, with high powers on noisy signal share with the common return path. Z common one and Z common two with the very low per power signals. High speed digital signals operating near low level analog signals are example. Clearly then it would seem that the best return system is the parallel system approach figure 69A. However, the potential problem arises with the implement of the approach on the figure CB, figure 611, the routing scenarios, and 611A. The parallel connection figure 611B, the series connection described above, is shown in figure 611A. But the current paths don't appear either for the parallel connection since there is a path or a common separate. Since each signal is directly above the return path, it's tight. Figure 611 shows signal return schematic in layout. Pair A is a parallel uh, separate connected. B is a series common connected. If your signal pass, return pass on the parallel, and then on the series you see common signal, common return path. Coupling between signal and the return, therefore, and inductance minimized with the problem, it would be incredibly cumbersome with the route with the PCB usually approaching with a even the fundamental effect. few additional components. Worse or high density multi layer PCB, the, if the components move with the movement of the signal that returns the path, would have to carefully coordinate with the result. Many opportunities for routing the errors that are difficult to detect with the automatic design rule check. Series connection 611B, obviously much easier with the route, loosely with the benefit of the separate signal of the return path. Even with signal return pass slightly uh, coupled with a common path, the impedance could be problematic for the circuit operating on a high frequency or fast time various times. Ground return planes. As above ab above we say we said that we want the return path to be as wide as possible everywhere if it's possible. Which is going to take the extremely cost for the return path has become a plane, but in since the first glance of the appear of the plane is potentially common return path, the common impediment of the question arises so if they're really the best solution to overcome the inconvenience of the routing problem. If we reroute the circuit in figure 6A is shown in figure 612 in which the return path is a ground plane in the layout and whether the thermal relief is inducted with the connection with the ground plane, we can analyze the situation. For the signal path of the relative of the cliff of the return path, the return signal with the automatic flow through the ground plane directly below the signal reason the reason um, it happens with that is doing with the loop. Dark and circuit minimized with the common node of the DC circuit the current flows with the path of the least resistance. Perhaps not as many common known AC circuits will follow the path of the least impedance of the particular PCB path and less induction. The only way for that, that to happen in return current travel directly under the signal trace. I'm um, way back. So figure 612 shows a pseudo common return path of the ground plane. We have your uh, junction 1 has uh, a signal with a resistor and we'll turn 1 signal to resistor 1 and signal to resistor 2 that both have their own return back to the jumper. The source, just no matter whether what kind of the crazy signal trace back makes, as long as the node discontinues this on the return path plane. Figure, so, figure 612, even the resistor 2 is directly between the resistor 1 PCB connector return paths would not be common as long as the signal trace of the resistor 1 and resistor 10 do not overlap, which can happen if the signal trace were arrived with the different layers because of the two close will we'll look at the appropriate trace of operation. What two close means in the routing selection discussed later. Ground bounce and rail collapse. Typical PC with the power distribution system contains one or more of the power of the ground plane with the power ground planes likely have very wide very traces that have little inductance or are very adjacent to each other the high capacity with especially the want for the power distribution systems. However, despite the advantage problem occurs with the high speed of the digital systems when the gate switches from one state to another, the problem is generally known as switching a noise. Figure 6 will show the representative of the CMOS logic gate with the capacitor CL inductance represents all the capacitor related to the construction of CMO transistor 1 and 2 with the gate with the, of the switch with one state and other uh, capacitor inductance has in charge or discharge before the gate can reach the steady state value. For example, logic state of the 0 um, when transistor 1 is off, transistor 2 is on the output. Of the voltage current inductance and the voltage SS is zero VZ voltage. When the gate tries to switch, high state logic level the one transistor one turns on, transistor two turns off. 
Pass air inductance becomes a charge of voltage DD. During the transition gate, the consumer of the significant power be covered with a brief pump movement of the transistor 1, transition 2, or both partially on. Short circuit exists in voltage DD and voltage SS through capacitor transistor 1, 2, and through capacitor uh, inductor with low impedance while. So here is a CMOS logic gate. You have your voltage DD, SS, transistor 1, transistor 2, in, in and out signals, logic gate. Charges because of the high current result of the even only brief of the voltage of the DD the pin tends to the drop until the switch with the complete with the capacitor is fully charged. Similar things happen with the gate of the tribe of the chain with the logic one and the logic zero state with except the disaster dish tank is tries to discharge through transistor two that's turning on the transistor one voltage of the FSS pin tends to rise until the switching complete with over the conductor fully discharged. Over the power ground plane with the non super and conductors there, drop the voltage between supply pines gate and where um, power is connected with the PCB, same on the return plane. Remember that there is always some of the amount of the resistance inductions, even the name of the so called ground plane shown in figure 614, in which we see some apply voltage across the PCB while the gate is switching with the drop of the pop of the rail called the rail collapse and rise ground potential is called ground bounce. Note that this is since. Really, nothing magical about so-called ground plane. The term rail collapse can refer to ground raising, rail raising, as well as supply rail dropping. Okay, figure 614, illustration ground bounce relay. Um, has voltage SS, voltage DD, switching low to high, and the rail collapse without by bypass connectors. Um, and then well, the full lines and the dotted lines are with bypass capacitors, ground bounce, rail collapse. Um, with switching high to low and low to high. Solid line of 614 travel the relative of the linear drop of the rods of the rail voltage drive with the ground potential curve of the line with the distance of the connector of which gate when none of the integrated circuits on the PCB board have the um, bypass capacitors. The worst voltage drop occurs with the gate itself and if any of the gates with locks but lo 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 located between the switching gate with the connector will feel, feel the voltage drop as well. Dash line with the figure 614 indicating the voltage drop and the rise of the ground potential when all of the integrated circuits have been bypassed. Capacitor, capacitor axis current reservoir holds, helps hold the up and positive the rail voltage, keeping it down and return with ground volt, rail voltage except as close proximity gate within switching, although minimizes there as well. Primary purpose of the bypass connector digital circuit is to promote the stable PCB power of the distribution system to prevent rail collapse and ground bounds. This is to keep switching noise off of the rails conversely with the power of the analog bypass capacitor is to keep any power supply noise that does not keep exist getting out of the analogs into the analog circuitry. That is the best capacitor but as acts um low bypass filters short outer um power supply transit noise before they get to the amplifiers. Since the analog circuit, particular amplifiers use the design to operate strictly between the same of the distance from the rails, and they rarely cover the rail class by usually the victims of it. The purpose of the amplifier circuit for the amplifier cell signals, which are often of the millivolt, the microvolt, and the range of the very quiet circuit environment, a highly desirable sense. Digital switch noise can be as much as 100 millivolts or more of the making analog digital system work together as same PCB be significantly challenging. Even when, even when the PCB power distribution system as well as designed low inductance plane with a lot of bypass capacitor switching noise with a significant problem with the analog circuits and other digital circuits of the map manner switching current surge across the PCB planes. This particularly true for the analog circuit that is between the PCB with the connector with the noise digital circuit. Any voltage drop along the path will be seen with the noise for the analog system. It was said earlier in figure 612 that the long traces did not overlap if they would not do close or the return currents would tend to stay directly over the signal trace and crosstalk will be minimized over the five frequency analog high speed digital system return currents with where, sig where their signal or power return may be the DVA ideal bad because imperfections in the PCB copper plating variation laminate materials as a result high frequency analog high speed digital return currents may be actually spread across a return plane Looking for the path of least inductance occurs particularly with the signal leaves one layer goes into another through V with the return currents do they exist easy with the path one return plane another closer with the new signal layer. 
Split power and ground plane. Solution on the problem of the digital noise has been injected with the analog circle with the groove of the supply plane with the segregated analog components with the digital one and eliminate with the common return pass. Segregating with the component is straightforward with the components are physically played with a different place on the board. Eliminating with the common return pass can be accomplished by splitting with the ground power with the power line and separate the area of the various planes of the shown figure 615. Typical plane one continuous sheet with the entire layer of the dictate with a single power with the ground connection shown figure 615A. But it's possible the advantage of the breakup of the plane with the section created with the complete with the separate planes for the digital and analog areas. Figure 15 B the show with a split plane with the provides the isolated with the area single layer with the providing electrically common and reference point with the configuration of the common and power electronic with the plate for the plane area with the closed to the board connection analog with the digital electronics and plate with the over respective return plane with the also with the, the circuits on board reference for the common ground by force. Um, but forces specifically the return current state with, the, with their own area of the demonstrated design examples, Chapter 9. Return planes can also, also be completely separate area of the using modes of Figure 615C or distinct continuous planes shown in 615D. The motor planes are sometimes used. Alright, 615A, 615B. 615A, continuous plate. Um, B is a split plane. C is a moded split plane. And the isolated contain continuous planes. Local ground reference plane with have high speed clocks with a small section of the circuit with the require with the only require their own regulated supply and ground potential for the isolated plane with the use of their with the parts that do not share with the common ground reference the power supply system. Care must be exercised when using split multiple isolated with the ground power planes, even the next and separated physically in order for the capacity for the couple from one plane to the next. Show in figure 616A and 616B the minimized noise coupling with the analog digital plane split planes on the different layers should be prevented by the overlapping each of other with the shown figure 16C. Should be separated with the shield plane and shown in figure 16D and the demonstration of the example of chapter 9, 3 in chapter 9. Um, on rare cases, the analog digital return reference plane with a PCB may be on the different layers not overlapping, separated by a shield plane, must be referenced with a common point, for example, when work for the analog digital digital analog converters. So the question between how to um, keep the physical separated with electrically connected, the easiest way to use the isolated plane figure 615C, then connecting the plane's point using plated through the hole shown in figure 1617A, or a short bar, short bar search for the copper strip layout user guide molded bull, bull planes figure 615C can also all right, be connected using short bar but both of these methods can be used in layout or demonstrate the design exact examples alright so 616A power ground stack ups and arrows A is a coupling between overlapped planes um, B is a coupling between parallel planes C is uh, no overlapping split plane. C D is a shield isolated plane. Um, key key P power S uh, key power P for power C S for signal A for digital D for digital digital. Six seven seventeen method of short uh, shortening separate plane layers. A is Viva uh, short. B is a copper trace strip with a short um, bar. All right, PCB electrical character is a character some pen, but we stated that earlier with the minimized cross side with the we want for the minimize of the loop and the inductor for the maximize of the inductions, and maximize of the capacity of the return plane that does this, but when, what does this with characteristic competence of the trace? And perhaps the first thing to do is look for the characteristic competence of the really. For example, the RG58 with the coaxial cable is often called the shield transmission line a 50 ohm symbol system of the RGB is about 52 ohms for not 52 not 52 ohms not 50 ohms but even so what does this mean if you use an ohmmeter measure the resistance from the center of the conductor of the shield you'll see with neither 52 ohm or fit nor, neither 52 nor 50 ohm um, you see how the character of the components of the 52 ohm figure 618 of the model transmission consists of a series of inductor and parallel conductor passages capable of the looped um, lumped element model that assumes here the resistance negative it will become small with the transmission line with inf infinitely long at least longer enough to watch the, um, watch what happens each inductor capacitor lump represents a line section of the transmission line with the sum total of the elements representing the total inductance capacitance of the transmission line so you have uh, inductors one, two, um, L for inductor capacitors one, two, three, and four. They seem to be in a series. Um, 
resistor and uh, S and voltage S inductor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Begin analyzing with the capacitor is discharge all current zero and the, and the T is equal to zero switch is shut. With the amplifier switch for source voltage VF the transmission line is the source of resistance S is shown in figure six seven nineteen. Initially capacitor one acts as short circuit of the amp of the voltage S as a switch and resistor switch. Current amp begins with the uncharged capacitor capacitor one return current will also flow over the bottom of the capacitor one. Back to the source node with the display from the current with the postulated Maxwell rather than conducting um, conduction current with the defined amp of the instant, instantaneous impedance. The um, Z capacitance one capacitor one is equal to V line over amp. This shows six nineteen shows the signal applied with the transmission line. As capacitor one charge is no longer acting as light, uh, like a short current, current begins with the flow with inductor one. Each inductor, only inductor one, two, three, and four, etc., is mutually coupled with the um, say, um, magnetic field of inductor one, reduces, induces the return current of the inductor two. The conductor, the inductor one and capacitor two begins charging positively with the top side. Um, and inductor two forces the return current flow back with the sort of the due to the mutual inductance capacitor two begins charging negatively on the bottom side relatively to the top lead. At some point capacitor one becomes fully charged with the value of the value ch voltage char ch um, capacitor one is equal to voltage line equal to voltage s um, vo minus uh, amp um, times resistor s um, then the displacement current no longer Flows capacitor one instant a is independent of this capacitor one is it voltage capacitor one is infinity and voltage capacitor two is voltage line over amps current continues depending on the following down the line charging up each capacitor turning on the voltage capacitor number and voltage line each capacitor along the way is charged with instantaneous independent of the long line of the voltage connector um, current number voltage line over the amper current number capacitor number shown figure six twenty. Each capacitor is begin, becomes fully charged and pen with the goes into the infinity because of the displacement current. Through it goes to zero and seen from the source of volt VA, VS and pens of the line volt um, Z line is equal to voltage line over amps or equal to voltage line over the capacitor number. Dynamic sense that it traveled along the line further and pens farther down is unknown. Line is unknown. Speed of wind instantaneous impedance travel along the line is dependent on the induction of the capacity of the, each of the section wide above the desirable height of the little loop. Induction is possible, which will never give the air most much capacitance possibility, possible, and which will never be infinity. But there is also be finite inductive the reactance of the XL passive reactance. Um, during each existence, however, the capacitors are charged and have nothing to do with the impedance, so they li li look like open circuits. Inductors have them stay with the term of the current flow, but they have nothing to do with the impedance since they look like short. Capacitor inductance down the line have nothing to do with the impedance either, even if they do not see anything with the capacitor inductor before they approach and stay stable the connection until the voltage um, voltage line reaches voltage total. Um, so the dish actually have no idea what the voltage T if even exists. Neither does it know that the main section of the, of the inductor capacitor there are until the previous section. Have reached a steady state of the impedance of each act section of the same along the line. Then we'll call it the instantaneous impedance of the characteristic impedance of the transmission line given into a special parent symbol ZO. Before we consider the, what happens with the current flow of the line voltage of the 620, once and all of the capacitors are charged, line voltage current reach, current reach ZT will need to be closer for the behavior of the transmission line from the above of the discussion. So, with the take of the final amount. Finite amount of the total applied with the voltage minus voltage drop is um, propagated down the line. But the voltage propagates, especially with the cover the, as a wave. In fact, effects described here to do um, due to wave property, but not directly due to the electrons flow. At least not likely. Um, we'll normally think of the key with the understanding Z over the reflection ranging with the will we see shortly. Understand the how and the what speeds will travel. If you ask an average person how fast the electricity. Um, travel you will see usually get an answer of the travel speed of the light, especially except in one per, um, particular case. The answer is not correct. If you think of electricity flowing in electrons, and electrons, electricity actually travel to only about one centimeter a second. Pretty slow, really. That's uh, seemingly intuitive in the sense that we've turned on the light switch and it comes seemingly immediately. 
as if the electricity had traveled at the speed of light with the switch of the light bulb, but would travel at travel almost the speed of light. But what it does is, is almost travel at the speed of light if the electromagnetic wave is launched into the wiring by switching closing. 621 can be unused to expand with the difference for the speed of the electron to electromagnetic velocity. Figure 6 um, figure show for the copper tube which contains marble separated with a small spring. An additional marble number 5 show for the tube with a marble number 4 show for the further end of the tube compressing spring between it to marble 3. Knowing that in an early stage of marble 2 and 1 have no idea what it was going, going yet. And number 5 show for the number 4. Three of the rest of the marbles most of the due wave make for the room four but eventually all of the marbles have slid over the one marble space and marble the one pops out of their end. Figure six twenty one shows the velocity of the partial velocity. Now that all of the marbles have moved the distance of the only one marble, but with the effect of the movement of the wave fell to the end of the tube, it is about the same amount of time. Speed of the wave determines the most part of the value of the spring comes for the partially with the momentum of the marbles. So from the transmission line with the electrons travel sm um, slowly with the electronic magnet when the wave travel fast. Speed of the electronic magnet wave is determined with the high quickly the magnetic fields on the induction for the electrical field with the capacitors can be built up with the dissipated, which is influenced material properties with the geometry of PCB through the which the wave travels. The last electromagnetic um, wave through the medium is described in equation ten. Voltage electromagnetic wave, uh, volt velocity of the electromagnetic wave that given is the permittivity of the free space uh, and is the uh, and the re relatively permittive um, electric distance constant of the material and unit contain constant relative to its permeability of free space and and its relatively permeability of the material unit less constant relative to the we recall the speed of light, C, a special electromagnetic wave in free space. You see in the right, or, um, write the equation 10. It's stated in terms of the relative of the permanent, relative of the permanent only be unit list of the year, U, uh, ET is like way. Free space, most polymers include FRA, limited sub of the further equation 12, shown in equation 13. All right. Um, the equation 13 we see with the velocity of the EM, which compared with the both electrical and magnetic field of the PCB, varies inversely with the relative of the permittive T. Leaving with the observation equation seven, we can state without rigorous proof of the capacity then to the transmission is detailed. Transmission line determined the geometry, geometry for the transmission line with the relative of the elect, dielectric constant within the transmission line and inductive of the transmission line. So for the loop and inductance, it determines the geometry of the um, falls out with the sense of the equal to one. See equation 5 and figure 6, 4, and 6, 5. In practice, calculating characteristics compared with the capacity and inductance be fairly complex depending on the geometry of the circuit. Unfortunately, it has been that it has been for us for the most common transmission and line configuration equations are shown. Table 6, 3, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5 of the PCB the design show the full control over the trace width W, partial control over the trace thickness T within selecting the ounces per square foot but may have little no control over the thickness of the laminate. These equations are solved with the, by ohm 4 w This is only labor in the shape of 6667. So you have your microstrip transmission line, ohms and capacity are per ad per inch per... Alright, um, reflection. So the next question is the heavens voltage wave and the voltage line reach for the termination termination Impedance verm, um, VT. The answer that depends on the ver voltage um, termination is let's assume a minute with the voltage termination of the open circuit with the last capacitor pass for five figure six eighteen charge and voltage line reaches voltage term termination impedance which is equals infinity. The all the capacitors charged along the line either the impedance with the equals infinity with the current stop there or at least will likely to it, but it cannot be covered with all of the inductors currently of the amp line. Two of them and that will um the will not know the amp line is stopped instantaneous magnetic fields that have inductor seven and eight begin to collapse, try to maintain the current bear remember the mutually coupled with the influence each other the continuous scope of the current past zero five raising the voltage a bit more we see it later with a bit more means. Magnetic fields of each inductor pair with the inductor three and four with the inductor one and two and etc. will collapse all one after the other backward from the source of the rays of the voltage nearest capacitor all the way down the line. New voltage 
Voltage line a bit more propagates back with the voltage um, termination and impedance. So the shove of the collapsing magnetic field of the magnetic field will collapse with all the capacitors that have the new charge on them. Analog reflection of the high impedance of the termination shown the 622 shove of the person launching a wave into the rope of the rope experience with a little no friction the wave of the propagating down on the rope unintentionated. The end of the rope is low with a high frequency with the wave of the reflected back to wherever the person will um, feel identical wave return. Example above of the reflective wave, same polarity, amplitude of the transmission, uh, incident wave of the re reality of the root rope would not be frictionless environment. The voltage and total and termination impedance would not be infinitely high. In this case, the reflective wave should would still have the same polarity, inductive wave amplitude would be less. Magnitude of polarity reflected wave of the describing the reflection coefficient Greek letter R shown in the equation um, 14 reflective coefficient C have the values between negative 1 and positive 1 if voltage te termination is greater than voltage line then um, which just means the reflected air wave will be exactly the same amplitude as the same of the polarity of the incident wave next we consider what happened to voltage to uh, termination depends the short circuit instead of the open circuit the edge of first same thing as described above of the switch is shut, but this is assuming the same in the initial conditions above. All caps are discharged of the capacitor inductive they are turning, charging off the building up magnetic fields. Voltage lines apply with the line with the line, amp line flows with the voltage capacitor number equal to the voltage line over voltage capa uh, amp capacitor number and uh, some instantaneous impedance of the well, um, Z um, Capacitor and, and number of difference of the up curve of the end of the transmission line, voltage tolerance, impedance is equal to zero ohms, inductor seven and eight. Again, we we'll want to maintain current flow, amperage line flows straight through the short of the voltage tolerance and impedance. This is the drop of the current uh, through inductor one, 7 and 8. Um, maintain it even if we're just an instant. Since the voltage drop occurred with the inductor, the constant current flow over the zero over the capacitor four C's shorts begin with the discharge into through the inductor 7 and 8, helping maintain the current flow and through the short is the voltage, voltage in total, um, voltage total impedance. The short may, should be short moment of the capacitor four, same volt, come on, capacitor five volts, terminal impedance zero volts. While well, inductor 7 and 8 have maintained and managed to maintain the current capacitor can deal with the discharge only after other uh, after the other capacitor 3 and 2, etc. Each inductor part maintains the current. Finally, with the capacitor short, also inductors look like a short and have same constant current. Final analysis is voltage ant line is equal to voltage um, termination uh, equal to voltage 0. Therefore, voltage line is equal to 0 over amp line. Equal zero ohms or amp line over the voltage source of the resistor source. All right, mechanical analog of the wave reflect with negativity um, from the dead short of the shown figure six twenty three. The positive the wave lines for the rope, the rigidly fixed and the end wave will negatively reflect. A perfect loss level environment reflective wave will be with the same magnitude. The opposite polarity incident wave. An electrical example above the negative reflective waves have the same magnitude opposite polarity voltage is stored with the capacitor. Negative wave hits each of the capacitor is forced to give up its charge, its current, which helps to maintain the current flow over the nearest inductor all the way through to the short end of the line negatively reflect away with the representative of the mathematically reflection. Efficient and Z equation fourteen in cases of voltage voltage determinant um Termination is equal to voltage and line, or P is equal to 1 as shown. Alright, now let's say you have the argument character of the transmission line, or one of the calculated voltage capacitor and number to equal the voltage line over the amp, amp um, capacitor number. Each capacitor inductor section, voltage capacitor and number is equal to 50 ohms. Let's all assume that resistor start is equal to 50 ohms. Now what happens to voltage to total impedance is equal to 50 ohms. As you can suppose, over the time, um, time and moment of which which um, switch such capacitors take with the turning, getting in the charge, the inductors are budding, buttering building fields with the voltage capacitor and number is equal to 50 ohms, while the voltage line is about 50 ohms. Since resistor line start and voltage line are equal, each for the active voltage to higher voltage line, you will have voltage source for the one over the wave from promulgated down the line's reach of the voltage termination impedance, which is also 50 times the amp line continue with the power of the voltage total impedance. Nothing different um, occurred. Voltage, um, the voltage of the, 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 the 
determination and impedance. These voltage line over the half of the voltage source of the voltage total impedance with a purely restricted everything is steady. Say voltage lines equal the voltage total impedance equal to 50 ohms off of the no voltage reflected back. Reflected back to the source now over the charge and change of the voltage occurred with the capacitor and no current charge occurred to the induction. In this case, voltage total impedance equal the voltage line and reflection with a capacity of zero is shown figure 620. Equation 16. Math mechanical and analog figure um, 620 with its number of the wave energy is reflected perfectly absorb the load end of the line. For the example, we can conclude the voltage line is affected with the during the voltage transition resolve the voltage train with the current flow over the current charge of the line with the capacity of the new voltage bill of the magnetic field of the conductors. We can see the impediment of the voltage total impedance for the same as voltage zero over the reflection will occur, but if the voltage impedance is the same as voltage zero, the no reflection will occur. But the furthermore, the finite amount of the time and the wave from the propagate end of the transmission lines of the other reflection does occur with the time and take for the another finite amount of the time reflection propagation. Back to sort of what happens sort of the next topic. Ringing. Um, P is equal to zero over that between the adjacent and pin of the reflections will occur by the true bolt of the drive of the transmission with the transmission lines of load and back. There's a little and no long um, loss along with the transmission line. I feel like the wave will bounce back with the front, back and forth between the drive of the load with them not matched with the transmission line. Transmission line with not match till that match to them. With the viewing of the partial um, particular point along with the path of the example of the out power pin with the gate amplifier with the repeated reflection. Will be evident as ringing and bringing is a direct result of the reflection with the of the tube of the in turn due to impedance mismatches. One of the problems with the ringing and the voltage at any point along the line is effectively out of the control of the sensor. The ringing cause of the voltage overshoots and undershoots. Overshoots can actually damage active devices and input voltage limitations while ready with the electromagnetic interference with the normal signal. Overshoots and undershoots call the digital circuits to be with falsely triggered with reflected voltage swings. Cross switching threshold analog circuit the interaction between continuous wave signal reflection, great standing or traveling wave with the degree of the signal enters the magnetic frequency with the original ranging ring depending on the speed of the speed of the wave through the transmission line length of the line reflection coefficient. See each impediment discontinuity which take detail looking uh, at ring using a circuit shown in figure six point five. 625 shows the representation single propagation PC tra um, trace. So in case of the drive of the voltage or voltage constant cur um, current uh, constant current pass the lower outer pin of the resistor of the start and source of 10 ohm transmission line characteristic dependence of the zero zero at 50 ohms received with a high input with the resistor inductance usually one kilo ohm or higher the dash lines indicate the interface of the mismatch depends upon um, labeled ZX1 ZX2 with the dimension of the green representation line with the dimension of the blue representative the circuit of the figure can be used the represent analog digital circuit that will be considered the digital application Share the following was RT with the rise time on the take for the output with the drive of the transition minimize the value with the maximum value of the RT is specified the individual device is given in the dash sheets the L trade of the length of the trade the transmission line on the PCB your VP velocity of propagation over the wave determined by Z over determined by the e, um, ET with the transmission line dimension trade with it is in dimension Trade the width and distance of the ground plane. PT with the propagation time to time of the transition propagated from one end of the transmission line to the other. LSE with the effective length of the rising edge also can transition distance of the spatial uh, existence of the transition or edge length. Length of the time to leave with the propagation values of the wave um, units of the distance time equal to PT um, propagation time. Uh, as is uh, length of the trace over VP or propagation velocity of the wave units in time LSE uh, effective length of the rising edge over, the, um, uh, over uh, propagation velocity of the RT units in distance and um, length of the length to trace along with its partial extents over the rising edge the length of the uh, LS of the um, rising edge to the length of the trace and the reflective voltage will be an amplitude scale copy of the entire rising edge from which scaling determined with the reflection coefficients so another way of looking at the same thing of the rise time is faster than propagation time rising edge of that will have them fully reflected 
Electrically long tray for the gold is designed on PCB design um, trays will show with the demand allowed with the condition exists. I remember the propagation time the all too slow with compared with the rise time. Trace lengths of the too long uh, compared with the single spread actual extent with these two conditions these conditions cannot be the term met. Trace is considered to be electrically long, must be treated as a transmission line, proper treated Treatment over the transmission line may be the control of the impedance line over the entire length of the line with the matching with the impedance of the line with the source of the load impedance so the reflection does occur. The obvious question when the, when the trace long and when is the trace line too long when the rise time is too fast with the magnetic magnitude reflection ring frequency governed down and back of the round short of the time reflection mode of the literature state of the propagation time and the propagation time should it be less than one half of the rise time. Um, that the length of the trace should be less than one half of the special extent with over the rising edge. Relation definition define out limited does not look on um, the goal. Short trace lengths um, trace lengths are shorter than rise time if the better of the off you will be. For example, the below the illustrator, greater detail example with the general design recommendation provided. Our figure 626 shows the um, happens with the propagation time is not is too long compared to rise time of the data. Figure of the generator of the transmission model with the piece by the propagation time set four times longer than rise time instead of the being four uh, less than uh, half the rise time simulation. Simulating transmission line with the capacitor piece by is covered in chapter 11 and further 625 626 during this discussion. All right, zero T O is equal to uh, O N S logic A with the voltage short of the switch of the voltage constant current with the equals of voltage five voltage D C begins with the increase of the voltage output voltage drive starting with the rising edge first capacitor of the transmission line on chart of the action of the short ground uh, at the time ten N S gates are um, finished with the switching voltage output with the drive of the voltage G with the voltage D with the equal voltage constant current over the voltage zero of over vo voltage zero over the voltage zero with the over um, plus rise um, resistor start equal to 5 times um, 50 over over 50 over plus 100 at 4.17 4.17 4.17 volts go to the voltage divider establish the resort resistor start with 0 is 1 a point of the back being with the presiding edge halfway of the load telling if the rising edge just of leaving the load side of the resistor start the time of the 20 n second um, n, n s begins with the rising edge reach for the low resistor resistor load since there is impedance mismatch zero ohms voltage zero um, zero uh, 50 ohms and reduc re reductor in resistor induction is one kilo ohm the pub of the reflection of uh it's immediately the feedback of the resistor of the reflective voltage of added for the resistor the low rising edge of the transmission resistor inductor Reflection coefficient C locating the load from the transmission line. And then I'm getting a little bit tired of this. Let's just uh, go see how many more pages we have. Alright, we're going to cut the tape there.